Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to one more Elder Rings video. So in today's video, I want to go over with you guys few armor sets that I use the most in the game. Now, besides a good build, honestly, for me, a good looking armor set is very important because defeating a boss looking like... Uh, trash honestly for me it's not looking good so I do like having a good looking armor and sometimes I just don't go always for the best armor for the damage or for something else instead I just go for the pure look cosmetic of the armor so that's what I'm gonna show you guys on this video today so let's get over that okay to start things off let's talk about this armor set right here this is the most royal armor set that i've seen in the game now i mean just look at it it's all golden and it's just look really cool with that um amount of detail that it has this looks like something that a king uh would wear right it is very very royal looking now if you want to take a look at the stats we have in here this three central helmet the three central armor, the gauntlets, and also the greaves. So to obtain this armor set, we're gonna need to go all the way to Altos Plateau. Uh, more specifically, right here on the Auriza Heroes Grave. So to get in here, uh, the closest side of grace that I can think of is gonna be right over here, the outer wall battleground so we're gonna take a route and get over here we can put a uh, waypoint right here on this side of race you want to follow my path and let me show you exactly uh, how to get to that uh, cave so just follow my path So from this point on you're gonna find this side of grace you want to grab that if you want so from this side of grace you want to follow my path down we want to go down until we hit a fire pillar so keep on following my path until we get to that point and we'll explain more From this point on you we want to follow all the way down until we get to a point right there now once you get right here you want to drop down over here to uh, next to this corpse so if you do that right you will drop right over here drop down once again now be very careful this is going to be a little bit tough you want to pick that up if you want right on this rope right here when you are standing on top of it you want to drop down again and keep on following down and then once you have like yourself lined up with that pillar right there you want to drop down again and then from here uh, you want to turn that way where you see that door with lights now we want to go on the right side so we can avoid that NPC Then we're gonna turn left and go up go up over here and then we want to go and hit this fire pillar right here this is the one that we need to hit so once that done that all you want to do is now fast travel back to the azura hero's grave so once done that now we want to make our way back to the exact uh no almost exact same point so follow my path and I'll show you where you want to be and from getting to that point you will get the armor set simple as that so what happened is once you get over here a third one of those uh, chariots will show up and it will break all three of them and by doing that 
you basically will get the three sentinel helmet the sentinel armor the gauntlets and the greaves okay so let's talk about this armor because if i had to make a top three uh, my favorite armors in the game this is definitely have to be in there because this armor just looks badass this is one of my favorite armors because of the look of it and because it has this black theme going on if i want to make a night night build right anything about night or just want to look badass in a black um all blackout armor this is gonna be it this is what i choose always so if you want to take a look at the stats we have the knight cavalry helmets the armor the gauntlets and also the greaves so the way to obtain this armor you have to fast travel all the way to the snowy area more specifically the closest side of grace is gonna be right here the inner consecrated snow field now first things you need to do once you get in here is pass the time to nightfall now once you get in here you want to look over your southwest and right there where you see those two giants carrying over this big carriage you want to go there at the night time you want to defeat these two knights patrolling this uh, carriage so once you defeat them and you have to defeat them both though uh, before you go to a side of grace once you defeat both you will get this armor. So another one for my top three if I had to make a list of my favorite armors in the game I have to include the Ronin's armor. So this armor actually the first time you will see it is from the NPC Yura. If you want to know more about that you can see down in the description I have a quest guide for Yura's where you can get actually this weapon that I have with this which is the katana that you get also from Yura. Now the armor though you don't get it from Yura. You will get the armor a little bit later in the game from a NPC that has this armor which is Sabriri. Now the armor itself if you want to take a look at the stats this is gonna be the Iron Casa. I hope I pronounced that right. You have the Ronin's armor, the gauntlets and also the greaves. So the first time you're gonna be able to obtain this armor it's gonna be all the way to the snowy area right in the beginning once you get in the snowy area actually um if you pass the grand lift of the roads and you're gonna get to the first side of grace zamur ruins that's gonna be the closest side of grace now once you are here on this side of grace you want to look over to uh northeast and you're gonna find sabriri laying in there waiting for you once you talk to him uh he's gonna tell you about some weird stuff so all you gotta do actually is just hit him he's gonna become hostile and then you have to kill him after killing him you're gonna get the full armor set So the next armor in the list is going to be the Cadence armor. Now this armor you can actually get it pretty uh, early in the game because it's going to be right in the beginning area. Uh, but honestly I just wanted to mention it because you know how cool it looks. Um, honestly it gives me more like a viking type of vibe. So yeah if you want to look at, like a viking this is going to be the armor for you. So if you want to take a look at the stats we have the Cadence helmet, the armor the gauntlets and also the torsors so if you want to obtain this armor we want to go to Lingrave, more specifically to the side of grace agil lake north so once you get in this side of grace you want to look over to east and every time you look and uh, come from the side of grace you're gonna find this guy or this npc on a horseback now all you gotta do is defeat this npc and he's gonna have a chance of dropping the armor now if he doesn't you can still keep on going north just a little bit until you find this uh, camp where you have a bunch of decaden soldiers so once you get in here 
defeat all of them and each one of them has a chance of dropping this armor. Now obviously I have to include the Black Knight armor set on this list. Uh, this one is a really cool armor set, it has this almost like invisible cloaked around the armor set, you know it is quite cool the way it looks and also you know the Black Knight assassins. Uh, you probably have been killed by this enemies a few times in the game i have i can say that now if you want to take a look at the stats we have the black knife hood the armor the gauntlets and the greaves now as i mentioned to get this armor set is quite easy to get it's gonna be all the way in the snowy area the mountain tops of the giants more specifically right over here on the ordinary town now the close side of grace obviously is gonna be the ordinary town side of grace now once you are here on this side of grace you want to turn a little bit uh, northwest i uh, grab our horse because we want to go behind mostly like behind this uh town so if you get right under this bridge you'll find the armor right in here on this corpse the next armor set in the list is gonna be the fingerprint armor set now this armor set has a cool looking because honestly it has like a different vibe it looks almost like it's all beat up and uh yeah if you guys don't know uh vike was one of the closest tarnish to get to the elden lord now if you want to take a look at the stats we have the fingerprint helmet the armor the gauntlets and also the greaves to obtain this armor set we need to go all the way to the snowy area of the map more specifically right over here on the lord contenders Evergo. we're gonna need to defeat the boss in there to get the armor set the fingerprint now the closest side of grace that i found is this one right here the wide reach road so fast travel there make your way in here then eventually we get right here this is the area we want to be the lord contenders ever go So to top it off for one of my favorite armor sets in the game, this one looks really sick. Now as soon as I saw the enemy types of this, the Zamur, I said how can I obtain this armor because it looks insanely good. So this is it. This is how you're gonna be obtaining the Zamur armor. So if you want to take a look at the stats, we have the Zamur mask, the Zamur armor, the bracelets and also the leg wraps. So to obtain the Zamur armor set, you have to go and fight the boss that's going to be located in the snowy area, the mountain tops of Giant. More specifically, this is going to be right here on the Giant conquering hero's grave. Now, I do have to point out, uh, even though it looks like almost is uh, this side of Grace is the closest one, but that's not going to be it. So once you get in the snowy area by passing through the grand lift of the roads from there you want to follow up and find the first side of great zamur ruins and then keep on going up this way the road that i'm going to show you until you find the second side of grace ancient snow valley and then from there follow up for the freezing lake side of grace and then from there you want to go this way and then turn right here to this side of grace a uh, wheat ridge road and then from there following down and then cross this bridge right here until you get to the giant grave post and then now from here all the way to this uh giant conquering hero's grave i know it's complicated that's why i had to show you uh that way you don't get lost From down here, we're gonna find another side of grace right here, which is the giant conquering hero's grave. Now, after you grab this side of grace, you wanna follow down on the left side, and then right here, we're gonna find an enemy. Uh, it's up to you if you wanna fight it, but you wanna take a left over here. 
and then take another left to hide over here now that a uh, pillar in front of us is going to be spitting fire so you want to avoid that keep on going and we want to take that elevator going down now once you get down here uh we gonna be going left now this door will be closed what you want to do is on the right side you have this lever so you pull that lever this door is gonna open and then it's gonna reveal a giant in front of us now this giant is gonna be a shadow giant so what you have to do is kind of like aggro him to come towards you until he gets to this side of the of the wall right so what i did i chickened out and i just took the elevator going up so once i take the elevator going up eventually when i came down he was already in flash so once he's in flash you're gonna be able now to do damage to him so what you want to do now it's actually you need to defeat him kill him that way this door in front of us can open So once this door is open, it's pretty simple from here. You just want to run straight forward. I'll go all the way down until you find the uh, fog wall. And by uh, passing through that, you will find the boss. Zamur, you have to defeat it. By defeating him or her, you'll get the armor set. And that's it guys that's all i have for you guys for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this one so if you enjoyed the video a like on it would be super appreciated if you're new you can subscribe for more Elden Ring content and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace